Hello everyone, I recently got offered the role of front-end developer in Paytm. In this video, I will share the interview process, all the questions asked in all the rounds and uh, I will also share the solutions of those questions as well. And at the end of this video, uh, we will cover some tips which will be helpful in all other interviews as well for the similar companies. So let's start. I applied to the Insta Hire. Uh, that's a website i will drop the link into the description and um, that's not a promotion after i applied there i got a call from the hr and uh, she had some communication with me over the call and a few of the questions she asked me first of all she summarized the jd of this job then she started asking some questions which were general not technical so she asked me about my total years of experience and the relevant experience the current stack which i'm working right now the current company I'm working and uh, my recent my recent project and uh, the tech stack used in this project and my role uh, in that project notice period and uh, if I'm already serving the notice period if I do have any already an offer from other companies what are my primary skills why I'm leaving this company she asked me very carefully and what's my current CTC uh, along with that my expectation from this uh, new job after all this she said she will be sharing a link for the online test and i got it over the email she also mentioned that that is required to be completed before the first interview round so as promised i got the link and uh, i will also share that link into the description that was from test.metal i checked that link and that link was having five sections four were objective and the fifth one was the uh, subjective kind of and in fourth, in, in those four uh, objective, there was a section for Angular as well. Even though I applied for React, but uh, they have also shared the Angular one and that was mandatory uh, because I have also worked in Angular, so that was not critical for me. Uh, after completing all those four rounds, I mean the four sec sections, uh, the fifth section was like uh, creating some HTML elements, applying some CSS in there, and uh, like uh, putting some events on those elements as well that environment was buggy i was not able to log or alert anything i was checking out with the functions so i acknowledged her about the same thing and she also shared that that's fine if you have completed all those sections so after completing that test uh, she called me back after like two days and uh, she asked about two time slots when i'm available for the first technical round and uh, that round was going to be for one hour so I joined the call on the other day, one female interviewer joined that call as well on time and uh, she asked me about my introduction and that was just ended up in just two minutes. She asked me about like where I'm working right now, what's my current stack, that's it. So I ended up in just two lines, that was fine. So then after that, she shared a Google Doc with me and uh, she started explaining the uh, question there and that was from the hacker ring. I already practiced that question sometimes back so I was able to do that but uh, she was expecting that it should be very precise like uh, there should be no case which should be left so I, I i was able to make that and afterwards after that question we were actually discussing that question i was keep on writing and that was the substitute of paper coding uh, the word doc i was able to do those i was able to do that there and after that she started asking some other questions uh, we ended up that question in like 20 minutes and then after that she asked me about uh, CSS, JavaScript, React and all the sections. One thing which I observed and was kind of funny for me that every interviewer in all of the rounds were quite in a hurry. They jumped late like 2-3 minutes, that's fine. But uh, they, it was looking like they are quite busy in a meeting but they had to come here to take this interview. And uh, they were also in a hurry to go back to that meeting again even on Saturday. Uh, one of the round was on Saturday as well. And they also use some uh, weird platforms for screen sharing for like uh, for coding test as well. Uh, there was no code sandbox or fiddle uh, there was something different so we just have to like the substitute of uh, paper coding uh, that's it so basically in the first round after that technical question she started asking me some other questions as well mainly from the javascript and uh, if i summarize it in a quick way then they were like the polyfills writing the unit test cases in react uh, explaining the hooks in react.js as well 
and writing some other complex JavaScript functions wherever it was required. So all these questions were there. Along with that, CSS questions was also there. She asked about the uh, position properties as well. That round went well, and uh, after completing that round, I informed the HR over the email, and I was waiting for the reply, and I got the reply back after like uh, three or four days. And she again asked me about the slot for the next for the next round, uh, which was again going to be the technical round. So that got scheduled for the next week, and uh, that was again for one hour. I was I joined that call. In starting, we were quite friendly. Like uh, we spent 15 minutes for all the general talking, uh, what he is working on, what I am working on, and then again we like started with the technical discussion. And the first scenario he asked me was quite easy. I don't say I, w I won't say it was critical. So we he uh, like shared a problem statement. Uh, we needed to create a search functionality, and uh, we need to implement the type ahead in that. He asked me to write the contract. Uh, what, what will be the API contract and uh, like searching after that into the input field I should get a list of uh, cities or countries associated with that and uh, there was a filtering of those list was also required on the UI side which I which I also implemented and along with that he wanted that if I if I get any result and wants to click on the search item that uh, there should be a dialog box should open and uh, that should show the other information about that city and country so that combination was there i would say that was a critical one uh, because we generally uh, make it make these things uh, very frequently in our projects as well and after that he asked me to write a program of the uh, matrix and that was he asked me to uh, sum the uh, diagonal of the matrix so that was also easy for me i was able to go through with that and after these two questions the first question we were actually discussing things we were uh, moving ahead i was keep on writing and he was like discussing the things and after that he again asked me about uh, the polyfills i would say the polyfill is the most important thing that uh, ptm uh, employees are doing so i've been asked this question in the further rounds as well i will explain you what was those and uh, see, he asked me about the css and how will i create the model whether i will use some other library or not then i implemented there itself first we were using the uh, shared document in the google drive but after that when things were like uh, going critical kind of like opening the model and all then we switched then i then we switched to the code sandbox where i imported the uh, library that was the sweet alert for the model so i, I made it into the native uh, javascript first then uh, then he asked me like if I can do the same into the ReactJS as well. So I think I did that in there as well. And uh, that was pretty quick because I used the uh, pre-created uh, template of ReactJS. And what I had to do, I assumed that data is there. And then we did the searching and opening the model. So that was quick. So after completing these two rounds, I was waiting for the HR to get back. And uh, then she get back after a week. I did not hear anything in between. I was confused whether like what happened, what actually happened. So the guy who took my interview uh, shared uh, his personal number with me because I I had some questions to ask and the time got over. So he shared that uh, you can call me later and we can discuss those things, those uh, scenarios or questions or project or whatever the things you want to know about the PTM. So then I pinged him like after a week that I did not hear anything from the HR. So that guy did not reply, but uh, yeah. So that, but uh, the HR replied on the same day over the email that uh, yeah, I got qualified the second round as well, but with the news that uh, it's been a long and that position has been filled, but we are aligning you to the another project. There, uh, there is a twist. So uh, she shared that that team is taking two more rounds as well. So earlier I had to go through with the online test, the first interview and the second interview, and I was done and but with the other project they said that uh, they will be taking two more rounds as well so i said okay that's fine i can go through with it so see again uh, like schedule one of the round which was again for one hour and uh, again i joined the call that happened like uh, just after the two days uh, once he asked me and uh, that 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 round was also good uh, that was I would say the rapid round uh, because that guy asked me a lot of questions and uh, he needed the real speed I don't know uh, like what he was trying to check but uh, he really need the speed of doing things so first question was there was to like create a, 
uh, countdown application and react and uh, he shared one platform uh, i don't know what was that there was no inference there was no imports it was just the text editor but i asked him like if we can move to the code sandbox i can write it in uh, like very good way so i did that i created the counter application with like set interval and all and uh, all those things that application was good and uh, i took like 20 minutes in that and after that he started throwing the questions like write a polyfill for map write a polyfill for filter and uh, write a write, write the polyfill for bind as well and after that he asked me about the promise and he asked all the functions of promise in javascript then he asked like if i can write the polyfill for promise.all so his, his major questions uh, was from writing the polyfills in javascript he asked me to write the javascript programs and uh, that was some like small programs uh, logical checking kind of so i was able to go through with those as well and then he asked me about the redux in uh, react.js uh, he asked me to write the whole syntax like map state to props map dispatch to props and the connect method is there and again after like when i was writing this thing he asked me if i can write it in a proper syntax so again i uh, used the same code sandbox and i created a simple counter application in there and believe me it was just in one hour so he was expecting too much in there in that time and uh, after completing all those things in one hour some other questions was also there like he asked me to write the example for call apply and bind so if you want me to solve all of the questions which were there in all of the rounds then i can create the subsequent videos of those solutions uh, for sure and we can learn from there and uh, like as per her promise after completing that round she uh, called me back in the next day itself and uh, she asked me to schedule the final round which was the technical round for one hour and that was the domain specific round i would say so we scheduled the call again it was for one hour and i connected and that guy was really uh, i would say calm and he started uh, asking the questions uh, from the like uh, react uh, algorithms i would say like how the virtual dom works what is the algorithm behind that and uh, then we moved to the advanced apis he moved to the lifecycle hooks he asked like about uh, like context api he asked about the lazy loading in react js code splitting and all of the things he asked about react js and then we moved to the uh, javascript again where he asked me about hosting the example of hosting closures and uh, after closures he asked me about like uh, the scoping of the variables and uh, along with like writing the code into the uh, sandbox and uh, after that he moved to the css and css he also asked me some of the questions from flexbox and then after we moved to the uh, like apis which was quite not i would say intensely but quite related to the nodejs so he didn't uh, he did not like went into the details of that but he asked me about the streams he asked me about the nodejs express middleware and like how we created sending data parsing all these things and he also asked me about writing a code into the json and that was about like uh, printing out all the keys and values then he asked me like if the json is nested then how can i write that uh, how can i like print all the keys in there and when i did that he asked me that if i can do the same thing with the recursion so uh, there were a lot of questions as well in the last round and then he asked me about like what kind of project i'm doing what are what are my day-to-day -day activities into the team what's my role and uh, what i'm like looking out for the next project or opportunity that was that was all i would say the technical perspective and that was then after the completing all the technical rounds which were for me five rounds and then uh, we moved to the uh, like hr discussion which was again very uh, fair i would say that uh, it was straight uh, it was about the general talks nothing te nothing technical that was all from the ptm yeah. so if you like this video and if you want me to solve all these questions you can drop your comments into the comment section and uh, i can create further videos uh, if we can cover it in a single video or if we can cover it in like two or three videos i will do that for you and i will share my experience for the other interviews as well which i went through in other companies which were also good and uh, completely different from the ptm because companies these days are like uh, changing their structure uh, so i can explain that process as well okay so that was all for this video 
if you like this video uh, just comment down what you thought and uh, just subscribe my channel and i will keep on posting the videos about the interviews interview tips and some of the courses as well so all the best for your interviews and see you soon